Now, white nationalist Richard Spencer is speaking at the University of Florida in Gainesville. Meanwhile, hundreds are protesting, as you can see, outside. Good afternoon to you. I'm Shannon Cake and welcome to the Now South Florida. So far, everything has been peaceful today. Florida Governor Rick Scott did declare a state of an emergency, state of emergency in advance of both the speech and the protests. The Now's Michael Williams live for us in Gainesville this afternoon with what's going on right now. Michael. A huge police presence here today. The university spent upwards of a half million dollars. You see Florida Highway Patrol troopers who've been on call today, agencies from across the state, including our region here. Why? They wanted to make sure that it remained peaceful here. You see in the distance, many of the hundreds of protesters, perhaps topping a thousand at one point, who came here to be outside the Phillips Center. Let's just move over just a little bit. It's just down the way from these trees. And Richard Spencer, with the National Policy Institute, so-called a white supremacist that the Southern Poverty Center said essentially is a white supremacist in khakis and a bow tie, came to the University of Florida to speak. I'm told about 500 people were inside, many of the media, more than a few who were opponents of Richard Spencer and what he had to say on this campus. And again, as we point out to the West, here on the western edge of campus. You still see the knots of protesters who came out, many of them University of Florida students. Among their chants, no Nazis here, talking about diversity on this campus, saying they wanted their ideas, their diversity, their solidarity to be the message of the day. And this has been, as we look live, a largely very peaceful protest. There was a moment about a half hour ago of high tension though. Let me show you that video. Protesters saw a man walking out wearing a shirt with swastikas on it. They surrounded him, and in many ways, he became symbolic of the frustration many have had here about the appearance of Richard Spencer on the University of Florida campus. That man did not say a word. One of my colleagues from Tampa said he saw the man punched in the face at least once, perhaps twice. He never said anything. He did not talk about what he was doing here. People were censuring him verbally. It was the most contentious moment of what has been a largely peaceful afternoon here on the University of Florida campus. Police backed away for a long time, then finally moved in and pulled him out of the crowd and kept everyone back. That was after several minutes as you look down the way here at a knot of protesters still waiting. We're told Richard Spencer, as we come back live, should be wrapping up his comments on campus in relatively short order. And tonight at 5 and then at again 6 o'clock, you're going to hear from students here, of course. You're going to hear from people who said, listen, I don't like that he was even allowed to come to the University of Florida, but UF administrators said, we don't have a choice. It's a public institution. We have to allow him to be here. So there is that debate going on, the free speech debate going on. Also, as you look at live chopper aerials here, it's been part of the presence here, keeping an eye on what's going on. Media choppers here, but also police choppers here as well, as we take a look from one of the media choppers. And we're told that Spencer is, quote, taking his last question now from the audience here. Of course, the big concern, as we see the Florida Highway Patrol, one of many units out here in force was, this was the man who helped organize the Charlottesville rally a few months ago that turned deadly, his group becoming the focal point for anger, frustration, and ultimately, one person died in Charlottesville. So the concern ever since then has been what would happen when he came to the University of Florida. They tried to deny Spencer a chance to come here, ultimately were sued and told they had to allow him to speak at a public institution. He did, although there were a lot in there opposing what he had to say. And voices out here saying that they hope that at the end, their largely peaceful message, in fact, except for the one episode I saw here, a lot of vocalization of their concerns but a peaceful message about diversity, strength, and they hope that's the message that goes forth from the University of Florida campus today. There have been one or two arrests here. We're trying to find out more particulars about that, more including reaction from students here at 4.30 and at 5. Now back to you, Shannon. All right, Michael Williams, and we saw a bit of a contentious moment a moment ago from Chopper 5 there as we got those aerials coming in to, to us as well.